17th Rugby World Cup match and All Blacks record. How do you maintain your hunger? It's pretty easy when you're uh, playing in a World Cup, to be honest. Um, I think uh, you know, every every year you, you play the game, you know, there's the different challenges you, you have for yourself. And um, I think the great thing about sport is that you know, uh, just because you had a good game last week or whatever, it doesn't mean you're going to front up and do it again. I think that's the challenge of of why you keep doing it. And um, the other thing that I've enjoyed over the years is uh, being part of the All Black team. That's what keeps you motivated. And playing alongside uh, you know, some of the best players around uh, and wanting to be better, that's, that's the drive that keeps you going. So you know, going into the World Cup, it's the pinnacle of uh, what you do as a rugby player. Um, pretty easy to get excited. How formidable is this Argentine pack? Oh, they... Uh, they can certainly play. We've, we've obviously seen a fair bit of them over the last uh, three or four years with them being in the rugby championship, and um, you know they've got some guys that have been around a while, and you know set piece time, those sort of things. They're pretty proficient at that, and uh, if you're not on your game, it makes it a, it's a tough old day. And uh, you know they've shown in the last couple of the outings they had against the Springboks that um, you know they've got the ability. So um, you know it makes for a uh, you know a bit of edge going into this first game. As you mentioned before, that having the biggest test of the pool first start probably wasn't ideal. Um, there's a few of you guys that haven't played in a few weeks. Is there any you know, rust there might be a bit of rust around? Well, I think it's the same for them. So, uh, you know, that's not an excuse for us, really. Um, we've, I think we've had a pretty good week, um, you know, or a couple of camps and, and whatnot and done what we had to do. And uh, we're just going to make sure we, uh, we uh, get stuck in from the start because uh, there's no doubt they will. So, um, can't control who you're playing first up, you've just got to get it right, everyone's got to play their first game and Argentinians are probably you know, in a similar boat, so it's who makes the best of it. Richie, playing Argentina, first World Cup game for you guys, Sunday at Wembley, how special is this going to be, and finally getting on the field as well? Yeah, well, this week's sort of been, oh, it feels a bit long really, you know, been here since Friday, so um, I think you know, the guys well, I know, I'm certainly pretty keen to get out in the field and get into it. Um, yeah, I've been lucky enough to play at Wembley once before and uh, it's a great place to play a game of rugby. So um, yeah, there's going to be a pretty good atmosphere there and uh, you know, that brings out the best in people I think. So that's what we need to, uh, to produce. Was it Barbars, was it? Yeah. Whatever year it was. Richie, how nice is it to be back in another World Cup with those same loose forwards, Jerome and Kieran? Oh, it's it's yeah, it's a bit of familiarity with uh, playing with those guys a few bit over the years. Um, so, but again, it doesn't guarantee you anything. You know, it just uh, hopefully uh, we, we use it to our advantage. But we we'll still make sure we uh, do everything right um, so that we can put it out in the field. Um, but uh, you know, having having those sort of experience, understanding what uh, the World Cup's all about, what games are about, and you know, we played the Argentinians in the last one. Uh, you know, it was a tough old match, tough old day out, so um, that's what we're expecting, but that's the challenges you want. And, and I know as a loose forward trio, uh, you know, we've talked about the excitement of getting stuck in. Aaron, this is your first World Cup. I mean, what have you made of all of the, 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 the sponsors' commitments, everything that comes with being at a Rugby World Cup? What's your impression? Uh, it's awesome. Um, you know, as Richie said, the pinnacle of uh, um, you know, playing rugby and test rugby, and it's, 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 it's been everything you'd expect and, and more and um, you know being in England is just amazing um, but it's a whole nother level of excitement and uh, the build up and even the hype from back home I'm here from a lot of friends that you haven't heard from in a while and um, you know just saying good lucks and just how much how much more it is than just a normal kind of test year so I'm just really excited and you know uh, it's been a long week it's been a long month to be honest since we've last played and um, this week's definitely gone slow, and we just want, I just want Sunday to get here so we can you know, get amongst it. How does someone who is notoriously energetic keep those emotions in control? Oh, it's tough, mate. It's, <laughs> I get told off quite a lot to stop. So, um, yeah, it's um, got one more training, and then uh, it's just about building. And, you know, it is easy to sort of bottle it up, but, you know, when you haven't played for a while, it's definitely one of those things you just want to to let it go, but um, you know, we're what a better place to do it than you know, Wembley and against the other team. Are you getting better at it? Yeah, like I said, um, I don't like getting told off, so I try to keep a lid on it. And um, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a bit older, so don't want to waste my energy. So I sort of want to always kind of peak Saturday or Sunday this week. Sorry, who really tells you off? 
Is it a blade of soda? Or? Oh, good evening, everyone. Get a bit of stick with my speed, <laughs> sort of walkthroughs and jog throughs, and I'm sprinting around it kind of speeds the play up. So, but um, uh, generally, they tell me to, if they say go at a five for everyone, it's like go at a two for me, kind of thing, just chill. So, uh, yeah. So, the, the last few days, has that been a major eye opener for you as one of the obvious one of the rookies of the squad? Um, yeah, we had a day off yesterday, so got to have a look around the place and uh, went out to Kingston. But, uh, yeah, in terms of being here in, in the UK, um, being at Lensbury, as uh, Rico said, for a few days now, so um, into business now, and um, yeah, just can't wait to get out there on Sunday and um, play a bit of coach. Uh, is it easy to try and remain calm even though inside you're probably uh, hyped up? Um, yeah, I guess having the people around me, um, guys that have obviously been there World Cups before and um, experienced some uh, high stress and big, big games, so I can certainly um, go to them if, if you know I need a bit of help and but yeah the excitement sort of bubbling I think it's um, timing right to come Sunday I'll be ready to go. The experience you had in Sydney and playing in front of that crowd, how will that um, stand you instead for Sunday and beyond? Yeah, I'll definitely um, go back to that game and draw draw from um, in terms of the crowd and the atmosphere there and um, yeah, it'll be pretty similar at Wembley with, with the amount and a lot of people there and um, the noise and things like that so uh, yeah, no, it should be pretty sweet. Richie, we've uh, seen that your acting career has sort of taken off the last couple of weeks. Is there an option after the World Cup? I don't think so, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you get away with it when you're a rugby player. But, uh, if you're not a rugby player, you may not. But, uh, you know, amazing the things you do when, uh, as a rugby player when you start out. It's probably the last thing you think you end up uh, doing a bit of, but uh, I guess that's all part of it. What do you think when you see yourself? <laughs> uh, I try and hide to be fair, <laughs> especially with anyone else watching. I guess you get a bit used to it. It's a bit like even seeing yourself on uh, TV, you know, uh, doing things like this. Uh, when you first start, you think you sound awful and you go, what did I say that or whatever. But um, I think over the years, you just sort of learn to you know, um, not get too critical of yourself and, and yeah, just accept it becomes a bit more normal, I suppose. Is it great to have guys like Richie, heaps of centurions, and all those experienced guys in the in the team to help you along the way? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, room with Richie, uh, room in Auckland, room with Snake, and yeah, no, nah, they're definitely awesome blokes to have alongside you, and yeah, you can definitely go up to them and you know ask them for a few tips here and there. So yeah, it's been wicked, mate. What kind of things are you asking? Them? <laughs> um, how to get a few, bit more time on the on the TV and a few more ads and things like that. So, uh, <laughs> come along, wait and see. <laughs> Richie, what does it tell us about Argentina that they can leave a guy like Juan Manuel Leguizimon on the reserves bench? What does that tell us about the way they've advanced, particularly during the rugby championship? Well, they've obviously got some depth of players, that's what that tells you. And, um, you know, you know, bring a guy like that off the bench, you know, he, he's pretty, you know, feeling the rugby um, and he's you know, pretty effective at it too. Um, so, um, you know, the way the game is now, you, <coughs> you know, you're playing probably a 30 year game with those guys off the bench, which, you know, and often the last third of the game. So uh, to have uh, fellas like that coming on, uh, you know, shows the depth I've got. So, um, you know, I, I guess from you know, you look at it from our point, we were lucky with the caliber of the men we've got this on the bench as well. So, um, but yeah, that like, just shows the depth they've got. Aaron, um, everyone seems like really upbeat since you guys have got here. There's been a lot of joking around, and obviously everyone's enjoyed the experience. You know, does it, is it a fact that we don't see behind the scenes? I imagine at times you guys are pretty serious, you not know, joking around at training that sort of stuff. When do you guys flip that switch to? I mean, does it get pretty pretty serious a day out or? On? Do you wait right till game day? When do you guys actually go into that sort of mode? I think it's just, um, you know, we enjoy each other's company in between, as you guys would see us walking to training or around the hotel, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's very serious. And when, we, when it's time to work and when we're behind closed doors, it's, you know, um, you're in a meeting, you're focused, you're, 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 everyone's on the, you know, I don't know how else to say it, it's, you're doing it to the full the best of the ability. Not everything we do is physical as well, so as I said, we concentrate in meetings and you know, it's um, just as hard and critical in a meeting as it is out on the training paddock. So, um, you know, you come out of some of the meetings a bit like, ooh. But, um, you know, it's just like when you come off the training ground and you know you've had a good session. So, 
um, yeah, it's very serious, but, you know, um, good thing with Steve that he's pretty lighthearted, as you guys see, so, you know, there's jokes between meetings and stuff as well, and, um, you know, he doesn't want anyone to be, um, go within himself, so there's always laughs, um, but there's a time and a place, I think, as for everything. Is it, is it a product of the experience that you get better at, at knowing how to sort of walk out of those meetings? Like when you're a young guy, you might be walking around serious all the time and thinking that it's it's high, you know, high stress job, but then you learn to sort of switch on and off. Yeah, I guess uh, I think it comes through the leaders too. Like if you can see them kind of joking around, it relaxes you a bit. And um, we've got some pretty relaxed characters, as you can imagine. But um, yeah, there's definitely times to certain meetings or um, stuff we do that you can tell it's yeah. No, no jokes now, and um, but yeah, it's it's yeah player driven. I think it's just sort of a certain meeting how you act. I guess closer to the game, it definitely gets a lot more intense. But I think that's in your own kind of way. Some guys like to relax. Some guys like to be quiet. Some talk a lot. I'm pretty quiet. Be quite surprised. <coughs> One last question, guys. Aaron, does the um, does the captain get your headphones? Does he look after the rest of the team? Or? Oh, there's been a fair bit of. Stick about that, and uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're still waiting. He said, it's, he said, uh, give him time, so I believe him, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. Play well, Senator. <laughs> <laughs> should, we take, should we take it personally that we weren't invited to be in there? Probably not. Probably most not. of us can't cheaply, so. Yeah. Oh, well, next time, next time. <laughs>